Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. Important study on Armenology in Persia. The first snow of the year falls on the peak of Ararat. 109-year-old survivor of the genocide against Armenians passed away in Massachusetts. Statue in honor of Sarah Cornyn, who saved thousands of Armenian orphans to open in Canada. On September 10 was published the 15th issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically at the beginning of each month. In the near future will be published the Turkish and English versions of the newspaper. The study of historian, member of parliament of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Karen Khanlarian, defining geography of Armenia according to Islamic sources, has been published in Tehran. There are many testimonies of wars, massacres, and deportations throughout Armenia's troubled history pages. As a result, much of the territory of historic Armenia was occupied by Turkey and Azerbaijan. In order to deny this reality, the state politicians and scientific minds of these countries have constantly tried to distort the history of Armenia and completely distorting the existence of historical Armenia by denying political geography, putting forward absolutely false and fake theories such as the Turkish roots of the Urartu Kingdom, Armenians are not indigenous in Western Armenia, migration of Armenians from Europe to Anatolia in the last millennium, and so on. The purpose of the study is to provide factual evidence from Islamic, Iranian, Arab, and Ottoman sources and prove that these theories are false. Khanlarian at the beginning of each source referred to the scientific activity and biography of the author, since biographical data can contribute to the scientificity of the topic under the discussion. The first snow of the year fell on the peak of Mount Ararat, the highest mountain in western Armenia. The top of the mountain is now covered with snow. The air temperature in the region has fallen below zero, and from the height of 4,000 meters, Mount Ararat is completely covered with snow. Meteorologists have reported that last year the snow fell on Mount Ararat in the late September. This year's snowfall began earlier, prompting early winter. In Iqdir, after the snowfall, the air temperature has dropped. 109-year-old Astrik Alemian, one of the last survivors of the genocide against Armenians, has passed away on September 5, according to the Armenian Mirror Spectator. Alemian lived in an orphanage in Syria until the age of 12, as during genocide she lost her parents and brothers, then moved to the United States with her sister, according to the newspaper. Beginning in the 1980s, Alemian was honored yearly at the State House for Armenian Martyrs Day, according to the Armenian Mirror Spectator. The bronze statue of Sarah Cornyn, a nurse who saved thousands of Armenian and Greek orphans during the genocide against Armenians in the Ottoman Empire, will appear in the Canadian city of Yarmouth. A bronze statue by Karen Pedrosian, an Armenian from Montreal, will open in September as part of events commemorating Sarah Cornyn, Armenian Weekly reported. Sarah Cornyn joined the efforts of the Middle East Relief Committee in 1918. She helped in saving and caring for thousands of Greek, Armenian, and Syrian orphans. In 2006, in 2016, Sarah Corning Society was established in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia to commemorate Sarah's heroic deed. According to the founders of the society, David and Jennifer Chon, the sculpture's work reflects Armenian roots and Sarah would have been deeply touched that someone from the country and people she came to know so well created a statue in her honor 100 years later. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Kador Mayer King Aonik. the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.